I can remember back about, well, more than 10 years ago now, time passes so quickly, where I was having one of those days. And over and over again, I would just say, wow, this is not my day. And I remember one particular one of those days where it wasn't my day, where I was calling it and creating it into worse and worse situations in my mind. I said to myself, this is my day for happiness and for success. Sometimes when we say this isn't my day, when we become so plagued with irritation and things more often don't go, go to our plan, the plans that we hold in our mind, we have to remember what it says in Psalms 118 verse 24. This is the day that the Lord has made. Now, listen to the second part. Because the second part is what has real power. And it is, the first part was talking about God. The second part is talking about what you and I, what we must do. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. That is what we're to do with this gift of time that we've been given, this gift of a lifetime, this gift of life itself. To rejoice and be glad in it. Every day can be a beautiful day when we see it as we should see it. God's gift to us. A new opportunity to express our wonderful presence with God. Let us accept God's gift of joy. Let us accept God's gift of success in this day by affirming this in prayer. This is my day to walk tall with a confident stride. Because I know God walks with me. This is my day to improve and enrich my relationships with others by expressing God's love and understanding. This is my day to enjoy good health, to be aware of the God-given life that curses through our whole being. This is my day to claim abundance, for I know that God's bounty is significant to meet every need. This is my day to appreciate and accept the opportunities that God puts on my doorstep. My attitude of expectancy attracts my perfect good. And I therefore have an attitude of expectancy of this day. This is my day for happiness and success. This is my day to walk tall with a confident stride. Because I know God walks with me.